So, you have a ferret, and you love it to bits. But you're not sure whether it's a boy or a girl. Or, perhaps you've seen ferrets that you'd love, but you don't know whether to get a boy or a girl. Hopefully this video will give you some pointers. Before we start, let's cover the terminology. A female ferret is called a jill, and a male ferret is called a hob. Whilst not commonly used terms, a vasectomized hob is called a hoblet, and a fully castrated male is a hobble, and a spayed female is sometimes referred to as a sprite. The first thing to note is that hobs are substantially different in size, weighing in at typically double that of a jill. These are two sable ferrets, brother and sister in fact. The hob on the right is much bigger than the jill on the left. The same size difference is seen again here with these two sandy ferrets, this time with the hob on the left. As well as a bigger overall body, the hob will have larger paws and a larger head. The hob's head is not simply a larger version of the female's. The skulls of the male ferret are proportionally wider than its increased size would suggest. This wider, more powerful skull shape may be an evolutionary advantage such that males access different prey than females to avoid excessive competition for food. When measuring size, a typical jill may be around 16 inches nose to rump and 21 inches nose to tail. A hob on the other hand can be 6 inches bigger at 21 inches nose to rump and 27 inches nose to tail. In terms of circumference, the female is around 7 inches at the waist, with the male around 9 inches at the waist. Different males will vary in size, but the smallest males should still be larger than the largest females. This clip shows the difference between our smallest and largest gills. If you want to sex your ferret in isolation, you can tell by their genitalia. The jill will have two holes at the rear, the vulva and the anus. A hob will have only the anus, but it will have its penis further up the abdomen. This is often confused as a belly button. Finally, a hob in season will have noticeable testicles. Regardless of whether you have a hob or a jill, they will both be interested in the same things and play in the same way. But we find that once grown, jills tend to remain that bit more active and energetic than hobs, whereas hobs have a slightly higher propensity for a longer fidget-free hold or carry. Each ferret will naturally vary in their specific characters, and those characteristics are what define the individual behaviours far more than their sex will. Either way, we wouldn't recommend getting a specific sex under the expectation of a certain character. Instead, we always recommend the best sex to get is one of each. Of course, both sexes enjoy a good cuddle and a snooze in your arms when it suits them. Thanks for watching. If you did like the video, please like and subscribe and try out some of our other videos.